you can see, I'm a little confuggled this evening because of the fact that I just got back uh, from a beer tasting at uh, 101 bottles of beer in the wall. I, I happen to have a hat on, and now everything's just like kind of <laughs> all over the place. Um, but I did pick up a Great Lakes Blackout Stout, the Imperial Stout. Um, from another place that I wanted to do a beer review on and um, uh, I, I happen to be at the point in time that I can actually sit down take my time and do a video on this amazing beer um, if I'm not mistaken I did a sort of quick beer review on this before um, when I had a, uh, I went, when I got a, a phone that I could actually do beer reviews on. Um, but with this, I'm going to do a quick little interim, uh, of a beer review. And it says a, um, bold and dark as a powerless metropolisus, uh, our Russian imperial stout. It commemorates the infamous 20, uh, 2003 blackout that briefly left 55 million people utterly unplugged. I'm going to tell you this much. Whether or not it was a government setup, or whether or not it was a squirrel, whether or not it was a rodent, whether or not it was man-made, people need to be unplugged. People need to take the time to kind of get back into and back to reality and back to time. Hmm. If you know what I'm talking about, please give me a thumbs up. Back to life, back to time. Come on. Anywho, I I think that people just really need to you know, unplug from social reality because social reality has caused way, way too many problems. Life is too short. Drink great, amazing craft beers. And with that said, I, uh, like I said, I came back from 101 bottles of beer on the wall. And I'm going to use their glass. Life is too short. Drink great beers and i'm going to take it one further and i'm going to say drink great amazing craft beer because of the sheer fact that whether or not you're drinking great beer is not um it, it is it is not said that the beer that you may or may not drink right here or right now is great it may or may not be a craft beer. So, with that said, let me go ahead and show off this glass. This is a um, this is a commemorative glass uh, from uh, 101 bottles of beer on the wall. And I'm going to let me let me put my knee up here real quick. I, I want to go ahead and show off this this amazing glass. This glassware that they have done has been absolutely phenomenal look at that look at that look at that and that, that skull with the hop vines and the hops and, and the slogan that is that is absolutely simply phenomenal on both ends but i'm going to i'm i'm gonna, I'm gonna put it there um as for the stout this stout is absolutely one of the best stouts here in the state of Ohio. Why do I say that is because of the fact that it is it, it's it's not only commemorative to a specific time and era, but at the same time, I mean it comes from one of one of the state's greatest beer companies, Great Lakes. It's a 9% 50 IBUs, so it's middle of the road, both ends. And as you could see, as when I hold it up, look, 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 look. 
it, it, it's it's phenomenal. Let, let's do let's do a pull. Let's do let us do a pull. Here, bloop. Look at that. Look at that pull. So you know it's going to be a sticky icky icky beer. So with that said, let's go ahead and turn it around. I'm going to do it from the start. I'm going to do it from right there. Let's turn it around to me. Oh, buddy. Dark, rich. Um, and when I say that, I'm talking dark, rich malts. I'm talking um, just very little bitterness. <sighs> Roasty, chocolatey, coffee. And it's, it's, it's all in the mix, man. It is very, very, very good. Got my mouth watering already. So, prost. Ah, 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 ah. Again, slight bitterness because the IBUs are on high, and I will say on high because of the fact that if you're going to have 50 IBUs on a stout, that is on high. I, I, I would love to have my stouts around 15, 18, 20. I, I don't like my stouts on high when it comes to the IBUs. Um... When you're going to do stouts on 50 IBUs, I'm going to call you a IPA company. And the only reason I'm going to call you an IPA company is because of the fact that I, I think that when you're going to do stouts on 50 IBUs, you're looking towards your, um, you're looking towards your IBUs in all your, all your beers. Um, the Edmunds Fitzgerald has to be one of my favorite Porters, and I'm feeling a sneeze coming on, so if I have to sneeze in this review, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm trying to hold back. But at the same time, with, with within this beer alone, and if you keep hearing a dingle, that's that's my cat down there. He, he just won't leave his bells alone while I'm doing reviews, etc, etc. Um, it's got a nice char to it. It's got a nice velvety smoothness to the mouthfeel. Overall, I do not digress whether or not it's, it's a higher IBU beer. This beer is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, excuse me. If you can get a hold of this beer, I would tell you to do it. Why? Because it's once in a lifetime opportunity to get a hold of one of Ohio's great stouts from the northern region. Um, other than that, I will put it to you this way. If you cannot get this beer, if you cannot trade for this beer, I would tell you to seriously wait for the Barrel Age series version of this beer. And I would seriously tell you to seek out, trade for it, and fight for that Barrel Age version of that beer. And if you cannot get that version of that beer, I would tell you to don't digress and look forward to Hop and Frog. Hop and Frog does a, they, they do some serious barrel aged stouts. They do some serious stouts to begin with. And, and they're, they're not very far away from Cleveland. It, it, Hop and Frog is in Akron and they do some serious stouts. They do some phenomenal stouts. Um, I, I have other friends throughout the country that can um, also attest to um, Hop and Frogs uh, stouts. So with that said, man, peace, pros, deuce, and as always, I've ran way over. I'm going to end this real quick before the 10-minute mark, and I will see you guys again later, man. Peace, pros, deuce, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Hey, come back again for another said beer in said glass. I will see you guys again later, man. Prost.